how can we find the indefinite integral of sine squared of x dx using the reduction formula for sine? Now, here's the formula that you need to use. The integral of sine raised to the n of x dx, it's negative 1 over n cosine x sine to the n minus 1 power of x plus n minus 1 over n times the integral of sine raised to the n minus 2 power of x dx. So in this problem, we can see that n is equal to 2. So using the formula, it's going to be negative 1 over n, or negative 1 over 2, cosine x, sine n minus 1, or 2 minus 1, which is 1. So we could simply say sine x plus n minus 1 over n. So that's 2 minus 1 over 2, which is 1 over 2. Integral sine n minus 2, so 2 minus 2 is 0. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1, so this becomes 1 dx. Now, the integral of 1 dx is simply x, so we get this answer. This is going to be 1 half x plus c. Now, you can leave your answer like this, or you can adjust it. If you wish to adjust it, you need to be familiar with the double angle formula for sine. Sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x. So if we divide by 2, 1 half sine x, I mean 1 half sine 2x, is sine x times cosine x. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace sine x cosine x with a half sine 2x. So this is going to be negative 1 half times 1 half sine 2x plus half of x plus c. And so I'm going to write the final answer like this. So it's going to be 1 half x, and then the half times a half is 1 fourth, but there's a negative sign in front of it. So it's negative 1 fourth sine 2x plus c. So this is the antiderivative of sine squared x. You can write your answer like that, or you could write it like this if you want to. Let's try another example. What is the antiderivative of cosine cube of x dx using the reduction formula for cosine? So let's start with the formula. Cosine raised to the n of x dx is equal to 1 over n cosine to the n minus 1 of x times sine x plus n minus 1 over n integral cosine n minus 2 of x dx. So in this problem, n is equal to 3. So this is going to equal 1 over n or 1 over 3 cosine n minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2, and then times sine x, and then we have n minus 1 over n, so 3 minus 1 over 3, that's going to be 2 over 3, integral cosine, n minus 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. And so we have 1 third. Now I'm going to replace cosine squared with 1 minus sine squared, but I'll do that later. But for now we have cosine squared times sine x, and the integral of cosine is sine. So if you want to, you can leave your answer like this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to replace cosine squared with 1 minus sine squared. And then I'm going to distribute 1 third sine x to 1 minus sine squared. So it's going to be 1 third times 1 times sine x. So that's simply 1 third sine x. And then it's 1 third times negative sine squared times sine x, 
which is negative one-third sine to the third power of x. And then we have everything else. So now let's combine like terms. We can combine these two. And 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3 is 3 over 3. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. So the final answer is going to be sine x minus 1 third sine cube x plus c. And so this is the indefinite integral of cosine cube x dx. So you can leave your answer like this, or you can write it in this form if you want to. Now let's try one more problem. Let's integrate sine to the fourth x dx using the reduction formula for sine. So first, let's rewrite the formula. And this is what we had at the beginning. It was negative 1 over n cosine and then times sine n minus 1 plus n minus 1 over n integral sine n minus 2 x dx. So we can clearly see that n is 4 in this problem. So it's going to be negative 1 over n or negative 1 over 4 cosine x and then sine n minus 1 or 4 minus 1 which is 3 and then n minus 1 that's 4 minus 1 again that's 3 over n which is 4 integral sine n minus 2 so 4 minus 2 is 2 so right now we have negative 1 over 4 cosine x sine cube x plus 3 over 4 and earlier in this video, we said that the integral of sine squared was 1 half x minus 1 fourth sine 2x, and of course, plus c. So let's distribute the 3 fourths to everything inside here. So it's negative 1 fourth cosine x sine cube. And then 3 over 4 times 1 over 2, that's going to be 3 over 8. And then 3 fourths times 1 fourth, that's 3 over 16. Sine 2x plus c. So this is the answer, if you want to leave it in that form. Now I'm going to adjust the answer. I'm going to simplify it using the double angle formula for sine. So recall that we said that sine x cosine x is 1 half sine 2x. So I'm going to rewrite sine cube as sine x times sine squared. And everything else I'm just going to keep it the same for now. Now let's replace sine cosine with 1 half sine x. So I have negative 1 fourth times 1 half sine 2x. And then I'm going to replace sine squared with something. I'm going to use the double angle formula for cosine. Or you could say the power reducing formula for sine squared. So you need to know that sine squared is equal to 1 half, and then it's 1 minus cosine 2x. So that's the power reducing formula for sine squared. and then everything else will be the same. So now I have a 4 times a 2 times a 2. 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. So this is negative 1 over 16. And then sine 2x times 1 minus cosine 2x. And then everything else. Now, I need to distribute 
negative 1 over 16 sine 2x to 1 minus cosine 2x. So when we multiply it by 1, it's just going to be negative 1 over 16 sine 2x. And then if we multiply it by negative cosine x, it's going to be positive 1 over 16 sine 2x cosine 2x. Now, let's combine like terms. Negative 1 over 16 minus 3 over 16. That's going to be negative 4 over 16 sine 2x. Now, earlier we said that sine x cosine x is 1 half sine 2x. So therefore, sine 2x cosine 2x must be 1 half sine 4x. So if we double x to 2x, then 2x has to be doubled to 4x. So let's replace sine 2x cosine 2x with half of sine 4x. Now let's put this in order. So we have 3 over 8x, and then 4 over 16, we can reduce that to negative 1 over 4 sine 2x, and then 1 over 16 times 1 over 2, that's 1 over 32 sine 4x, and then plus c. So this is another way in which you could represent the answer. So this is the integral of sine to the 4th x.